Hello everyone, you're in the office with Joseph Skoda. Joseph Stephen Skoda III. Believe it or not, I'm not perfect. And neither are you or anyone else you know. We often make mistakes. And we often have expectations that people cannot realistically attain. And in some cases, really don't even care. So why is that? Why do we expect someone to do something and they tell us they're going to do it? They tell us they're going to meet us a certain place a certain time or they're going to finish a certain task within the time limit we expected and they often fall short. Is it because they don't care? Yeah, sometimes that's true. They just don't care. It's a low priority to meet you for coffee somewhere. And really a low priority to help you fix the kitchen sink or move furniture around. All right, we're not perfect and sometimes we're lazy and we get distracted in doing some other things. For instance, I live in wine country, San Luis Obispo, California. We have hundreds of wineries in the area within a 100-mile radius. It's crazy out here. So before I moved to California, I rarely drank wine. I drank, you know, whiskey. I had my good beers and some other things. But here we find wine tasting or all of our happy hours kind of revolve around wine. The point is, we often get distracted. We might have the best intentions, say, yes, I'll meet you there. We'll have dinner. It's going to be a great time. And then we get invited to, or we just drive by a winery. We can smell the scents in the air, especially if there's a barbecue next door to it. And we'll get distracted and we'll let our boss down our friends down, our loved ones, our family, our co-workers, it happens sometimes. What I want you to think about, or I want you to really take into consideration is in most cases, they do not diss you or disregard the promise they made to you. So please don't take it personally. If someone, even if you're in customer service, and most of us are or were in some place in our careers, our journey in the workforce, we had to either answer a phone, someone complaining, or maybe we're flipping burgers or a cashier some someplace, and someone's always complaining about it. it's too fast, too slow, too expensive, too hot, too cold. Try not to take those things personally. Sure, I know. We, we supposedly have a thicker skin as we get older and don't worry about those types of things. But we're all human. Whether you're in a wine-tasting happy hour or your normal uh, music and free munchies and beer happy hour and get distracted, we can't take things personally. Someone might say something and bump into us or take our food by mistake or step on our feet. Hopefully it's not on purpose. And we'll know if it's on purpose. They usually do it again. But if someone brushes against you or even says something that might hurt your feelings, but if it's not disparagingly or directed towards you, try not to take it personally. Someone might say, I hate all white people. I hate all black people. Or men are the worst people ever. Okay, that person had a bad experience with those different uh, races or, or those different genders. But try not to take it personally yourself. We're all prejudiced to a little point. We don't uh, like ugly, mean, <laughs> um, angry people. And that's a form of prejudice. I don't care what you say. So all of us have our characteristics, good, the bad, the ugly. Some people we like, some we don't. And it's usually by first impressions. And that's okay. We all have first impressions. We look at people. Uh, do they look nice? Do they look mature? Do they have a good posture? Is there confidence in their person? And if you get too close, do they smell pleasant? 
So we have a habit of judging everyone around us. We do, even our own family members, especially our children. Like, oh, you're wearing that shirt again. Or, oh, why are you dragging your feet or rooting your shoes? Or you don't even tie them to begin with. Sure. Like I said, we, we have our own standards for ourselves. And we expect everyone else to meet the same standards that we have. We hope that our employees meet the standards that we set forward or we set forward for them to learn and, and meet. We hope our children meet the standards that we do. In most cases, people, even our lovely children, fall short of what our expectations are for them. Sadly, did you ever meet or did you always meet your own parents' expectations or your boss's expectations or, more importantly, your significant other's expectations? Right. Most of us don't. Most of us can. Most of us are oblivious that we're not doing all that we promised to do. We're not being all that we can be. We're... We're, we're not fixing things. We're not cleaning up after ourselves. We're sometimes lazy. Try not to take these things personally. If someone's attitudes, characteristics, lack of charisma bother you, then if you can, walk away. Walk, run if you have to run. Walk away, run. Get a new perspective. Because if we're going to be so anal and upset when someone disses us or doesn't take things seriously, the expectations, the promises, what we expect of them, if we can't handle that, if we can't have thick enough skin to just kind of blow it off, then we need to walk away or let them out of our lives. On a flip side, don't be so arrogant and, and brain dead or lightheaded or whatever it is to not think when you make a promise, when you make a decision, when you decide you're going to do something, to not take it seriously. If you promise your grandma you're going to take her out to lunch, take your grandma out to lunch. She may rag on you about your clothes, about your education, about your girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever it may be. That's okay. Deep down inside, our grandparents, our parents, our aunts and uncles want the best for you and I. They really do. They, and some of them don't know how to sew. They're going to rag you and it's going to feel like they're putting you down because they're nagging you all the time. Yeah, I'm guilty of that too sometimes. Try not to take it personally. They just want you to grow up and learn and see and hear the wisdom from their own mistakes of the past or things that they've seen or people that have let them down. So if your mom asks you day after day to clean your room, clean up after yourself or how can we going out with that person? I told you you need to stay home with, with your mom. Yeah, I understand. Your mom may be getting sick, may be getting ill, may be getting more elderly, and just wants the companionship and knowing you're safe and around them. You have to have a truce and say, okay, mom, I'll, I'll come home at this certain time or twice a week we'll go out to the mall. Whatever it is, whatever you agree to do, just do it. Do it. Your, your word is your integrity. And your integrity means everything in this world. Don't be like everyone else and give broken promises and tell people you're going to do things you have no plan to ever fulfill. Don't, think, don't take things personally. But do the best you can do and be the best person you can be and try to lead by example. Hey, maybe some of your siblings might follow suit and also take grandma to the store and release some of the stress on you. But if nothing else, doesn't grandma buy you a good lunch?
You better believe she does. She's going to love you and, and care for you the best she can. And if you live out of state or out of country or even an hour away from your closest relative, those little moments in time we get to share with them, and they might say, okay, I'll be ready at 11 o'clock to take you out to lunch. They're not, they're, they're not ready till 1 o'clock? Yeah, we know. That's irritating because we all are busy people. But make time. If you know your relative's going to routinely be two hours late, don't take it personally. Just put it in your schedule and love them anyways. We're all just people on this earth trying to make the best. And we want to be respected and loved. But realistically, we have to give it also. We have to give others respect and love. And we need to serve each other. And be the best people that we can be. My advice to you today, if you want to have that smile on your face on a regular routine basis, don't take it personally. Have yourself a great day.